Going Public. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of Ruth, chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. No sooner had Boaz gone up to the gate and sat down there than the next of kin, the one who could redeem, of whom Boaz had spoken, came passing by. So Boaz said, Come here, come over here, friend, sit down here. And he went over and sat down. Then Boaz took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit down here. So they sat down. He then said to the next of kin, the one who could redeem, Naomi, who has come back from the country of Moab, is selling the parcel of land that belonged to our kinsman, Emiliac. So I brought, thought I would tell you of it and say, Buy it in the presence of those sitting here and in the presence of the elders of my people. If you will redeem it, redeem it. But if you will not, tell me so that I may know, for there is no one prior to you to redeem it and I come after you. So he said, I will redeem it. Then Boaz said, The day you acquire the field from the hand of Naomi, you are also acquiring Ruth, or from the hand of Naomi and from Ruth, the Moabite, the widow of the dead man, to maintain the dead man's name on his inheritance. At this, the next of kin, the one who could redeem, said, I cannot redeem it for myself without damaging my own inheritance. Take my right of redemption yourself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming and exchanging. To confirm a transaction, the one took off a sandal and gave it to the other. This was the manner of attesting in Israel. So when the one who could redeem, the next of kin, said to Boaz, Acquire it for yourself, he took off his sandal. Then Boaz said to the elders and all the people, Today you are witnesses that I have acquired from the hand of Naomi all that belonged to Emeliak and all that belonged to Chihon and Mahlon. I have also acquired Ruth the Moabite, the wife of Mahlon, to be my wife, to maintain the dead man's name on his inheritance, in order that the name of the dead may not be cut off from his kindred and from the gate of his native place. Today you are witnesses. Then all the people who were at the gate, along with the elders, said, We are witnesses. May the Lord make the woman who is coming into your house like Rachel and Leah, who together built up the house of Israel. May you produce children in Ephratah and bestow a name in Bethlehem. And through the children that the Lord will give you by this young woman, may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah. Going public. Now, oftentimes we associate going public with either a relationship announcement or a stock trade that a company is going public, going to be traded publicly. Its finances are revealed. Everything that was once in the cover of darkness or known only to the people involved is suddenly known for all. Boaz lets it all known. He could have waited for gossip to die down and for to marry Ruth discreetly. But in a final act of kindness, Boaz declares it publicly, may it be so, that he has acquired Ruth as his wife. And unfortunately, the language of the Old Testament is that women are fancy property at best and the bearer of children because one of the big concerns always in the Old Testament is heirs and keeping the family name alive and so that whatever children Ruth produces with Boaz will be seen in the eyes of Israel as actually descendants of Mahalon, her first husband. This is what's referred to as Leverite marriage. It's very interesting who we want to be seen in public with, isn't it? I know there's a phrase here in, in the church, in the office, where it says, go hang out with the people that religious people would not. Do what Jesus did. And indeed, Jesus did call many people who were considered undesirable or unacceptable by the religious people. Oftentimes, 
this still is a trait today. We avoid the uncouth around us. But spending time with them, as Jesus did with Zacchaeus, as Jesus did with prostitutes and other well-known sinners, instead of keeping to himself, is a form of hospitality, not only that, but also kindness. There is no better way to show love to someone who is a bit of a controversy than to show up with them in public. Because if you are with them in public, then it makes others wonder why they have refused to be in public. Indeed, the blessings that the elders and the assembled at the gate, gates of the city being the place where business usually was transacted in rooms off of the gate's doors, would be in fruition. Ruth is an ancestor of David, the king, of whom Ruth is the ancestor of Jesus, a Moabite woman, one who should be punished for being Lot's illegitimate children by his own daughters and incestuous relationships, enemies of Israel. You should not be seen with them. And yet, the Son of God has a bit of Moabite blood in him. Maybe enemies aren't really those we shouldn't stand in public with. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your going public, for you declaring that all people are yours. Help us to recognize that when we go public with those who others find irredeemable, we are performing kindness. We are doing kindness to others and declaring that your word is final say. And no one, no one, is irredeemable. Amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.